guys, here's another video. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. Uh, this is uh, an item that I've actually been wanting to open for a couple years now. I just got this on e Amazon for dirt cheap. Um, I think it was like four or five dollars. Um, unfortunately, the, this game is dead now, but uh, man, when I was a kid, I used to collect the original version from Score. This is the, the remade version or the relicensed version uh, by Panini, um, which was actually kind of popular for a little bit while this game came out. Uh, I'm not sure why it died off. Probably because Bandai uh, got their hands on Dragon Ball Z once again with the Dragon Ball Super um, licensing to make the card game. And I think the Dragon Ball Super game has been wildly successful. So I think. I think that was a move in the right direction, but this game right here, the Dragon Ball Z trading card game, um, had has pretty much almost, if I'm if I'm wrong, the same gameplay as the original game, um, somewhat or, so, or some sort, and the same card back, so it's pretty much compatible with the classic stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna actually before I even rip it open, I'm going to show you the box let's see if I can focus there we go Star Deck exclusives look for six prism technology cards featuring your favorite characters um, and then it's got Dragon Ball Z Awakening in the front it says uh, look for popular heroes such as Goku Gohan Trunks and more as they battle against Cell in an elimination style tournament the Cell Games and it comes with 70 cards which is pretty awesome for a starter deck uh, one of six different tournament ready pre constructed starter decks inside. So, I guess theoretically, if I buy this six times, I mean, it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna get six di different decks, but uh, you know. Alright, so it looks like it comes with two packs. Probably one of them is the personality cards. Back in the day when you would open Dragon Ball Z decks, you would get like some pretty thick personality cards because they're not gonna be shuffled in the main deck. But, as you can see, the, 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 the thickness, I mean, there's what, only like six or seven cards here, and I don't know, it's so hard to show. Just look how thick these are. Um, but still, I, I, I just bought this for a collection purpose. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z, and um, I mean, I will be my whole life, so. Um, and here is the mat, pretty, pretty simple. The game itself doesn't have a lot of game zones. I think it's a pretty straightforward game. Um, I'm not so well versed in it, but I have played it on the Game Boy when I was a kid. And then, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, rule book right here. Shows you how to play the, the basics of the game. Uh, attack table and so on and so forth. Okay, so I guess we're going to find out who our personality is right now. So it is Goku. This is the exact one that I was hoping I was getting. Goku is my favorite character in the series, except for Majin Buu. Um, so Goku we got, and then uh, this is the deck. So let's open up the main personality first and see see all the awesome prism cards. Unless it's random. Oh my god, yeah, these are awesome. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of nerding out. All right, so we got Goku training, and these are thick. These are thick cards. Sorry about that, my camera freaked out for a second. But yeah, um, Goku right here. I mean, these cards are ultra thick. Even the texture on the back is a little bit different. But, um, I mean, these are like maybe this, the thickness of four cards. But anyways, let's see if we can focus in on Goku. Come on, Goku. Goku. And this one uh, has the continuous symbol and it says, your attacks deal one life, plus one life card of damage. Power used when entering combat, draw a card. Then we got stage two Goku, the determined. And uh, this one says your attacks deal plus one life card of damage. And your opponent's attacks deal minus one life card of damage. Power, draw the bottom card of your discard pile. You may discard a card from your hands using critical effect. All right, so stage two. Stage three, Goku the Courageous. Um, this is what I think of when I think of Goku, like in the, in the orange and blue uh, attire. 
Uh, and this one says your attacks deal plus two life cards of damage. Uh, power, physical attack. Draw the top card. Drop. Draw the top or bottom card of your discard pile. Damage at plus two life cards. And he's getting increasingly stronger. It goes on. And then stage four, Goku, the selfless. Your attacks deal plus two life cards of damage, and your opponent's attacks deal minus two life cards of damage. I mean, if you are at this point where you have a level four Goku, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're, you're winning. Um, but, I mean, I, I, I did never played this game at all. But in the video game, if you were that far, you were pretty much winning. And then, oh, it looks like they make regular cards, like, um, like this thickness. So we got Blue Resolute Mastery. Your attacks deal plus one life card of damage. And I mean, these cards are gorgeous looking, I must say. Um, I mean, it's a little weird with the whole, like, 3D thing, but it's definitely pretty nice. I don't know how deck building goes because these cards are way thicker than normal cards. So I don't know if you were even allowed. To, I don't know if you're allowed to use these. Like if these were in Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm pretty sure they weren't allowed to use something this thick. But um, discard a styled card from your hand to draw a card and prevent four stages of four life cards of damage from your opponent's next attack. Oh, this is a mastery, so I'm pretty sure you won't even put this in your main deck anyways. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so mastery. And this one is Black Conflict Mastery. Your attacks that deal at least four life cards of damage are considered to deal critical damage. Uh, discard a card from your hand. If that card was styled, your your uh, main personality gains six stages of damp, six stages, or you may raise your lower uh, player's anger one level. So that's another thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the mastery goes yeah on the side, so it's not gonna be shuffled in the main deck. All right, which makes sense because these are way too thick to put in a in a deck. And man, I am pretty hyped that we got those. And these are gorgeous. I mean, look at the foil pattern on these. They are wicked nice. And these are the normal type of um, cards that you would be used to. Like Imagine the Gathering Pokemon card thickness. So we got Blue Overcharge. Uh, it's an event card. And it prevents three life cards and three stages of damage from an attack. Draw a card. And I'm pretty sure in the top right corner, it's like the rarity type. And this might be like a promo. I'm not sure what the S means. Maybe like super. Uh, who knows? But um, I think through this deck, I'll show you in a minute. Um, this one is Blue Slide. And uh, it banishes the three top, uh, top three cards of your opponent's discard pile. Damage at three plus three life cards. Uh, and hit your opponent cannot play a non style card this combat. Awesome. Blue Arm Blast. Uh, you may play this card to stop a physical attack instead of, of as an attack. Energy attack costing two stages. Five life cards of damage. Okay. Um, blue Head Knock. Um, physical attack. Lower your opponent's anger to zero. Damage five life cards. This one seems pretty pretty good. I mean, I, I would say it seems pretty good. Um, based on what I used to play on video game. But the one thing that I got to complain about, I mean, the cards come kind of warped, fresh out of the deck. But I'm sure, you know, after... I'm not ho sure how old this game is, but I'm sure after sitting in a box for a couple years, it's, it's about to happen. All right, so these are the backs of the cards, by the way. These are identical to the old Dragon Ball Z game from uh, Score uh, that... I mean, that ended in, like, 2005, but, um, yeah, let's, let's just get straight into it. This is a pretty big deck, and, um, uh, I don't want this video to take 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna flip it over. And, uh, I guess in the top right corner, it's the S again. Oh, it might mean starter. That might be, you know what I mean. Okay, so, uh, Black Hair Trap. Devastating Blow. Yep, starter. Black Knee Catch. Black Strike, Black Entanglement, Black Command, Black Flying Kick, Black Overpowering Attack, and I, it's got orange text on it compared to these ones. I'm not sure what that means. I will look into it later, and hopefully I can let you guys know. Black Fist Lock, this one also has it. Maybe... 
Is there any common? Mm, no, there's nothing common in the I don't know what that means. Um, black traveling punch. Black lunge. Black defensive burst. Black unstable punch. Black side thrust. Black hug maneuver. Black request. Got uh, a setup card. It's a sideways one. Black declaration. And back to normal. Black entanglement again. Black speedy dodge. Black strike. Black hair trap. Black swipe. Let's just get another. One. Oh, strike swipe. Black knee catch. Another one of those. Black corruption. That one looks cool. Black radiating drill. Uh, black Easy Block, Black Flying Kick, Black Finger Block, Black Nightmare, Black Traveling Punch, Black Lunge, Black Fist Lock. I'm pretty sure this is a black deck. I mean, I, I might be wrong, but... Devastating Blow, Black Side Thrust, Black Hug Maneuver, Black Command again, another one of the Black Declarations, Black Overpowering Attacks, and these are duplicates. I think, I think they're duplicates for a reason. I think the deck structure is made a specific way. You don't want to have just one of one card. Which I kind of like because this deck definitely kind of seems like it's, it's constructed in a way to actually play the game. Not to just get you get you in. Uh, compared to Yu-Gi-Oh! where you only get one. Sometimes you get duplicates in a deck, but you only get one of each card. And then you kind of have to go out and buy multiple decks to just get... Your, your build together. Unfortunately, with this deck, the only card that you can use from the um, from the extra pack that you get on the side is this Black Conflict Mastery because nothing in the deck is blue, which seems fine because I mean I'm not going to be playing this game anyways. I'm just going to be collecting them, um, and I I got exactly what I wanted. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm sorry I'm, I'm so inactive on this channel, but um, hopefully this month I'll be way more active than I usually am. Um, and, I mean, I got a ton of Pokemon cards um, today at Target for the Black Friday deals. So hopefully I'll be opening those up for you guys and, you know, giving you guys a good show. Okay? Uh, anyways, I'll see you soon. Take care. Have a good day. Have a nice holiday. And once again, thanks for coming to the channel, guys. Bye.